So let's get started guys i'm very excited about my grilled snapper look at how pretty those fish are i have three of them so i have paprika i have cayenne pepper i have old bay seasoning lemon pepper seasoning italian blend seasoning garlic powder onion powder and tagine it's a mexican seasoning you can find it in the spanish aisle i have vegetable oil I have fresh cilantro. Also, I have peeled lemon and wedged it. And I have green onions. So here for the blend, I have one cup of the vegetable oil. I'm adding five teaspoons of the paprika. I am adding two teaspoons of the cayenne pepper. And if you like your fish more spicy, hey, be my guest, add more cayenne pepper, okay? There's no right and wrong here. Like I always said, go ahead and make adjust any recipe how you like it, all right? So here I'm adding another uh, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. I'm adding three teaspoons of lemon pepper. And guys, usually I just throw the seasonings together. Today I'm measuring it out for you guys. Um, but, and again, like I said, you could adjust the recipe. You could take away or add whatever you like. I'm just showing you how one way I do it. I, I do grill fish so many ways, all right? So here I'm adding three teaspoons of garlic powder. And this, this recipe came out so good, guys. Here I'm adding three teaspoons of onion. I add in here two teaspoon, no, three teaspoons of the tagine seasoning. And here I'm adding two teaspoons of the Italian seasoning. Now add it also some black pepper guys which with the black pepper i added two teaspoons of it and here i'm whisking it and we are going to go ahead and start brushing that beautiful seasoning into our fish so i always start with the inside you give it love guys you give it love also if you're gonna have company over you could do these ahead of time and let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. And when your companies get there, you go ahead and take it out, let it go a little room temperature. All right. That's my grandson. You're going to see it. He said, <laughs> give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You're going to see him at the end of the video. He is going to taste the food for you and give his opinion he's seven years old actually i made this red snapper because he requested he's seven years old going on 30. okay <laughs> whenever i'm around you will see him he wants to start coming into his grandmother's videos 
but as you can see guys here i am you know giving each fish the same love and like I was saying, you could do this ahead of time, have it in the fridge, wrapped up with some saran wrap. And when you get ready to throw it on that grill, you take it out like I, I would say at least 20 minutes, a half an hour before, before you throw it on the grill. And you're ready to go, right? So you're going to see all the steps that I do. As you can see, I give each little corner of the fish the love that it deserves. So I did that to all three fish. Now I'm stuffing my fish with the lemon wedges, some fresh cilantro, and, and here guys, you could change whatever herb you like. You cannot go wrong with fresh ingredients. I am so telling you, all right? And it cooks inside, almost dissolve. All right, but the it dissolves and the flavor just go inside. Uh, that I'm telling you, just came out so good. <laughs> At the end, you're gonna see my grandson tasting it, and he actually ate that whole fish, and asked me, Grandma, do you have another fish? I said, No, I bought one for you, one for your mom, and one for me. And and he was like, Well, you should have bought more, Grandma. You know, cause you you know I like fish. I would ate another one. And you're going to see at the end, so stay tuned. He's a little character. Uh, he really think he's, he's a, a, you know, a mini chef like his grandma, right? So here I have this wire rack. Um, you see them anywhere in TJ Maxx and Home Goods, Marshall, all those places. And these are wonderful, especially when you're um, grilling fish. Um, things like that. It's so easy to turn the fish. So uh, I told my daughter she has to get another one so we could have two of them. So here I put two of them in the rack and the other one I'm going to put in like this little baking sheet you will see. Also, um, if you know with, with the rack, I should have sprayed it with like a nonstick um spray to make sure they don't really stick because they stuck on me just a little bit um especially in that baking rack i should have had sprayed it and i i just thought you know okay i already have a little bit of oil on the fish no you need to spray some more all right so that one i put on that baking rack and these look at how easy it is to to maneuver it when you have one of those. And I'm using a gas grill, as you could see. And this is my grandson helping me, my seven-year-old grandson helping me with my video. <laughs> he's he's being the camera guy right now, all right? Um, so here, as you could see, it, it's stuck on me. Um, and a lot of the skin came out on that one, but it still was delicious. That's the one I ate, you know? And every time you turn it, guys, um, you go ahead and brush it some more. I mean, this came out so delicious. I made a, a mixed green salad to go with this fish and all three of us enjoyed it. Like, I should have listened to my grandson. So next time I grill fish for him, I'm definitely going to make sure like I buy five or six but this this i'm telling you give this recipe a try you will not regret it so here i'm gonna go ahead and turn it i have my my fire on my grill on medium low well medium high i believe um no it's medium low sorry um it, you know it depends on your grill you know your grill so just adjust the temperature of how you know you believe it's going to cook your fish right right so every grill is different so you just got to know your grill so here look at look at that beauty guy look at this beauty all right so while i'm basting this guy don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that like button. Also, the notification button, guys. It's real important that notification button is going to let you know as soon as I upload videos every Friday and Sunday, except holiday weeks. Um, 
I like I said, I'm going to be bringing you all types of recipes and desserts and drinks. Okay? Everything international. So, um, I, you know. But anyway. But as you can see, look at these fish. They are coming out so nicely. Nicely, nicely, nicely. So these are pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and taste it. And I'm going to let my grandson do that for you. All right, so this is my grandson's food. How is it, Roman? It's I, good. Well, taste it so people can know. Taste it some more. Let me see your face. I can't even see your face. He's scared of the bones. So just be careful eating it. It's good. And oh, I can flavor. see it's your head. I don't see your face. How is it? It tastes like... I don't like the flavor. You like the flavor? The flavor. A lot crispy. Mmm. Yeah, and pretty much a little crispy. <laughs> and I can tell there's a little lemon in it. Oh, good. We got mini chef. So me, really kicked in. The lemon you can't really taste, but you can taste it on the outside mm. when you eat it with the meat. So you sprinkle more lemon on it, so more lemon juice. Not yet. Okay. So would you recommend this recipe, Roman? The only they see is your hair, puppy. Hold up. Sorry. This what? You deal with with a seven year old Roman. They can't see your face, so do you recommend the recipe? Yes, I do. I think we should put this on the menu. Oh, really? Yeah, well, don't play with it, puppy. Remember, it has bones, so be careful, okay? Okay, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>